Many people have the dream of moving from North America to Europe to experience the European vacation life 52 weeks of the year. If they do, they're likely to plan and scrutinize every detail to make it happen. And then there was the way we did it, on a whim. And this is how it all started. can't stop thinking about the conversation I had with my son two nights ago about moving to Europe. I mean, forget about the likelihood of it happening. The sheer possibility of it is exciting. And I need to talk to my wife about it. Now, Yvonne is a pretty adventurous, outgoing woman. So I'm not sure if I'm excited or nervous about what she's going to say. Anyway, let's see. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. You know how our son kind of wants to go to Europe when he graduates? Yep. And he actually said that he'd be pretty keen to go to high school over there. Really? So I'm just kind of proposing that we sell stuff and move to Europe. Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's been two weeks since then and uh, I'm full steam ahead on our European adventure here. I mean, we all are. No chosen city, no country, no school. But then... The housing market has entered a recession. That's the consensus from realtors oh, and It's expected the Bank of Canada will hike interest rates Rising again. interest rates could soon set off a financial bomb for tens sales of thousands nearly of Canadian homeowners. In July from June, that's according to new data. A financial bomb, did you hear that? Uh, that was not part of my European dream calculus. Okay, our plan right now is to depart and show up in Europe in about eight months' time just before the start of the school year. So, between now and then, find a country to live in, find a city to live in, choose a school, and just before we leave, sell our house so that we can rent a place in Europe. But now, I don't feel like we can wait eight months to make that decision to sell our house. And it's time to test Yvonne's go-to attitude and have another chat with her. I can't think of a better time than tonight because we're celebrating our 20th anniversary and we'll see how it goes. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. So, if we're serious about this move to Europe, I kind of think we need to sell the house now. Yeah, I agree. Like, really? Yeah. Text our realtor. It's just a house. Are we sure we want to sell the house? Absolutely. Okay, literally, 16 days later. This is why I'm freaking out. We still don't know where we're moving to overseas. We've sold our house. In a period of two months, we've moved from a 2,600 square foot home to a 700 square foot cottage, and we've sold literally everything. Okay, maybe not everything. But I have to say, a lot of the stuff is not going. This was a whole house and this is what we have left. We have no house, we have no things, we have no idea where we are going. The honeymoon period is over. We have four months to figure out where in Europe we're gonna call home. I know that there are worse problems to have, but I'm starting to get pretty anxious about all this. It's about time, I guess. 
So with the clock ticking, at four months to go, my son and I take a rapid fire trip to Europe over spring break to try and figure out where we're going to move to. Okay, we're on our way to Europe. Arrived in Amsterdam. It's around 12.30 p.m. 5 o'clock in the morning or something in Vancouver time. But slept for a couple of hours on the plane, so feeling pretty good. Amsterdam. What a beautiful place. So idyllic. I could totally see myself becoming a bike rider in Amsterdam for a couple of years. Off to Lisbon. Wonderful people, beautiful climate. It's a cheaper place to live. Berlin. I trade in my, my wardrobe and wear all black and become a hipster here. Look, it doesn't really matter where we end up. Wherever we go, it's going to be a shock to the system, full of highs and lows. We're just choosing to live life not down the middle. But at the end of the day, we decided to go big. Cue accordion. We're headed to Paris. This place was on fire. Literally. It wasn't so bad. We walked a hundred kilometers. We scouted out in multiple neighborhoods. We even checked out a couple of apartments. We took a look at this apartment today. This is the living room. We would have to do something about the artwork though. Maybe move some of it to storage. Everywhere you turn, it's beautiful and full of history. If I can't entertain myself in a city like Paris for a year, then it's a problem with the person, not with the city. It has been quite a journey so far, but really we're just getting started. Even though we depart in 76 days from now. I hope you hit the subscribe button and follow along. I could use the community support as I share with you what it's like for a 50 something year old to learn a language for the first time. That should be pretty amusing. Saying goodbye to friends, making new friends, finding an apartment, learning a new culture. <laughs> Not sure what I got myself into, but it should be fun. A bientôt.